Okay, what this is, is a example question where we're going to use Chebyshev's inequality and demonstrate the empirical rule. Uh, now, the empirical rule is also known as the three sigma rule, so don't get those two confused. Okay, so the IQ of uh, UK is thought to be with an average of 126 and standard deviation 11. So without making any assumption about the shape of the distribution, what percentage of people will fall into this bracket here between 93 and 159? The second part of the question is what if it's normally distributed? So, having been asked to calculate this, uh, this proportion here, we note that it's the mean plus or minus 33. So, we note that 33 is 3 standard deviations each side of the mean. So what does this mean graphically? Well, if we consider it normally, just for a second, and we say the mean is here at, thir uh, at 126, and we have a standard deviation either side of the mean here uh, with 11 and 11, and another one here with a further 11, and another one here, another 11. So this is what we're looking at here, this point, which is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 standard deviations each side of the mean. So now we use something pretty cool called Chebyshev's inequality. Which is a very simple uh, method, but very very useful. So we have 1 minus 1 over k squared, where k is the number of standard deviations we're going to be considering each side of the mean. So in this case we have k equals 3, so we have 1 minus 1 over 3 squared, which is 9. So of course this gives 8 over 9. So it's literally as simple as saying at least 8 over 9, which is roughly 89% uh, UK citizens have an IQ between 93 and 159. So how do we use the empirical rule? So, if the distribution is normal, we can apply the empirical rule because in our question we considered three standard deviations which is why this is known as the three sigma rule because of course standard deviation is represented by sigma and the empirical rule says that 99.75 percent fall within the first three standard deviations of a normal distribution. So when our distribution is normal we can model it with the empirical rule and get a much uh, much more demonstrative example of the effects. Thank you for watching.